The following is an unfinished episode of my redesigning series. I had originally planned to do more for this episode, but for some reason I just kept being unsatisfied with my work. I really like what I did for the beginning of this episode, so instead of scrapping the whole thing, I'm just going to release what I made. We can call this... The Lost Episode. Anyway, here it is. Today's episode was inspired by a comment that I got on a previous episode. Mia Smith suggested that I should try to unroboticize robotic Sonic characters. So basically turn robots into Mobians. I absolutely loved this suggestion. So if any of you have any other redesign ideas, leave them in the comments. I might pick those up as well. I'm going to start with the Dumbbot duo Scratch and Grounder from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Scratch will be fairly easy, since he already mostly looks like an animal. Grounder, on the other hand, I'm gonna have to get creative with, since he's like... a weird blob with drill hands? Oh, by the way, I've decided to try and record my footage a bit differently this time. A few people have mentioned that the constant zooming in and out would give them headaches or make them dizzy, so instead I'll be recording a separate canvas that updates whenever I make a change to the drawing. I hope that helps! So before I really got to work, I took some time to map out Scratch and Grounder's body shapes. As you can see, they have that stereotypical tall and stout character dynamic that plenty of famous evil henchmen have. With Scratch, all you really have to do to make him look like a Mobian is not draw the bolts on his arms. However, I wanted to do something more than that. For starters, I decided to get rid of his extendo neck because not many Mobians actually have necks. I also changed the shape of his comb. I wanted a mix between what he had already and what a real rooster's comb looks like. Also, I got rid of his gizzard. It was a personal choice. I just didn't really like it. I decided not to give either of them gloves, though. Because, one, I actually like the wing-like hands that Scratch has. And two, I had an idea for Grounder that gloves would just completely ruin. Speaking of, I took a quick break from Scratch to get some inspiration for his clothing. So I moved on to Grounder to see what I could come up with. Since Grounder isn't based on any kind of animal, I had to get a little bit creative. Let's see, Grounder, drills for hands... Mole! He'll be a mole. I took lots of inspiration from the Pokémon Drillbur. It's similarly shaped to Grounder, and it has these drill claws. Those would translate nicely onto a Mobian Grounder. I tried to incorporate some things from his robot design, like a communication device with an antenna on his head, just like the one in his original design. Then I got to work on his body, giving him a safety vest with stumpy legs. I thought I would have some kind of trouble with the drill claw hands, but they were actually really easy to figure out. I gave him a safety helmet to match his vest as well. Now that Grounder's outfit was decided, it was much easier to figure out Scratch's outfit. I gave him a vest just like Grounder's, but I added that belt that he has in his original design. I also gave him Eggman's pant boots? Not sure what to call them, but I put them on Scratch to specifically match Eggman. I imagine they'd still be despicable enough to work for Eggman, and Scratch tends to be more of a suck-up than Grounder. It was very easy to figure out the colors, since most of the work was already done for me on the original design. I just had to rearrange them a bit. I don't have too much to say, except that I changed their classic eyes to a more modern style eye to match these new designs. And here's Moby and Scratch and Grounder! This is where the original script ends. Like I said before, I was going to do more redesigns for this episode, but when I attempted more, I just wasn't satisfied with the work I was putting out. And this is perfectly normal for an artist to feel like this. If you currently feel like you're in an art rut, my advice would just be to take a break from what you're working on and try something new. It's okay to admit and accept failure if something just isn't working. 
Anyway, if you think this is me trying to cancel the entire redesigning series, don't worry, I'm not going to do that. I specifically released what I had already, just so I could keep the series going. My philosophy for making videos on this channel is make videos that I will enjoy creating. Don't get me wrong, Scratch and Grounder was actually really fun to do. It's just a shame that everything else that I attempted just wasn't working out. But you can't win them all, and that's okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the Lost episode. See you next time!